So as you guys probably know, Naomi Osaka is now, I guess, the best tennis player in the world, and uh, or the best female tennis player in the world. And she is somebody who came out recently, and she had actually said that um, she's going to be pulling out of the French Open because of mental health issues that she's having, anxiety issues. She has anxiety issues when speaking to the press, and so she decided to pull out. Um, and that caused a lot of controversy because they were trying to penalize her for that, but people came out in support of her and her mental health concerns. It obviously seems like she's somebody who's very reserved and definitely plausibly suffers from um, anxiety issues, especially with, like, you know, uh, with other people and stuff. So it's definitely very plausible. It makes sense. Uh, mental health is obviously extremely important. Um, but it appears a notorious douchebag Megan Kelly has come out to attack Naomi Osaka. I don't know if anybody likes Megan Kelly. Does Megan Kelly have a single fan out there? Because I am not convinced that there is a single Megan Kelly fan out there. She just seems to be the biggest douchebag. Uh, doesn't really have any fans out because Republicans, I don't think, are going to like her. The only people I could see being her fans are people who are like tr more maybe traditional conservatives, like the George W. Bushites. Um, she got fired from her show on, I don't even remember what channel it was, NBC now, or something like that, uh, for uh, supporting blackface. Uh, so, you know, she's definitely has a pretty racist past, especially if you watch her stuff over on Fox News. So, uh, this article says, Naomi Osaka knocks Megyn Kelly for tweets that, quote, spew negativity about mental health. Um, so, what happened was, Megyn Kelly was actually saying that... Um, <clears throat> I guess she was taught, she sent a tweet in response to a guy named Clay Travis, who I think is a conservative sports talk show host. And so this is what Travis said. He said, since saying she's too introverted to talk to the media after tennis matches, Naomi Osaka has launched a reality show, a Barbie, and now is on the cover of the SI swimsuit issue. And then Kelly says, let's not forget the cover of an interview in Vogue Japan and Time Mag. Um, and so... Naomi Osaka responded saying this. She says, seeing as you're a journalist, I would have assumed you would take the time to research what the lead times are for magazines. If you did that, you would have found out I shot all of my covers last year. Instead, your first reaction is to hop on here and spew negativity. Do better, Megan. And she spelled Megan wrong, which I think is great. Um, but it does appear that she's already deleted this tweet. Maybe it's because she doesn't want to signal boost Megan Kelly. Um, I do think that responding to Megan Kelly is probably a waste of time because you're giving her more attention. She's not really somebody who's, you know, very relevant anymore, if at all, to be quite frank with you. So it does seem kind of like a waste of time. But Megan Kelly is just, uh, she's just a piece of shit. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. She just comes out and just says asshole shit about people. Um, and I would go so far as to say there's even malintent involved in this because I'm sure Megan Kelly knows what the lead times are for magazines. I'm pretty damn sure she knows what the lead times are. But honestly, if you think about it, like something like a magazine cover um, can be very different or even like a an intimate interview with like a, a single journalist for a magazine can be very different than like a press conference where there's a bunch of people and uh, press conferences can be very anxiety inducing, especially for athletes. Obviously, the press conferences generate a lot of revenue and attention, if not most of it. Uh, because it's, you know, heavily drama side and uh, gossipy and stuff like that. So it's definitely very understandable. These are very different things. So I could definitely understand why that would be something that would cause a lot of anxiety. Um, but I don't really understand, you know, she pulled out, uh, you know, of the whole thing of, of the French Open. <clears throat> so, you know, saying to focus on her mental health. I don't really know what else you would say that it is. I don't understand. You know, she pulled out of the French Open. I mean, what else... Would you what, what kind of ulterior motive do you think Naomi has in this? Um, I personally don't really understand. But that's what I mean when I say that it's something so random. And Megyn Kelly sort of just exists just to be kind of like a... Just a, a piece of shit, basically, man. It's that bad.